Hello and welcome to episode 7, yes 7, of our platforming tutorials. So, this tutorial, we're going to be continuing on from our last tutorial, which was on enemies, and we're going to be making this guy work. Dish tray, shut up. Okay, now that I've told my dish tray to shut up, let's start. So... I'm gonna make a space for this guy here, yeah, and we're not gonna add a sign to him, and there's a reason, but um, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm gonna set his speed to 100, and that's pretty much it. So levels. So this is what we've got at the minute. We've got on collision with snail. See if he's falling. If he is falling, and the Y, the player's Y is less than the snail's Y, then destroy the snail and shoot the player in the air. What we need to do is we need to say else, so if it's not this, then it needs to do this. And it'll be player, make them flash, player, subtract from and then we're going to use random, random, no we're not, we're going to use choose. Actually, no, we will use random. Random's better. So we'll use random, and we'll put a range of from 10 to... Anywhere up to 35. So basically what that'll do is, it'll pick a number from 10 to 30... Five, and then it'll take that from the health. So yeah, that's um, that's our health. Uh, one little thing we need to do now, and we're gonna stick this right at the top, is just check compare instance variable greater than or equal, uh, sorry, less than or equal to zero. Player destroy. Because that's when we want to kill him. If he's got no health, you can go away. We don't we don't want you playing anymore. So we're gonna stick that right there. Now what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna take these so that and that and that and that and that gonna take all them stick them at the top as well we're gonna take all of this and stick them at the top just there and then for level one we're gonna put that there so basically the reason we've done that is because all of this is to do with the game so what I'm actually gonna do is make a new group and call it game mechanics probably spell that wrong but that's fine call me a and we're gonna select all of these obviously I can't do that so I'll have to do it the hard way oh I hate this I hate this so much Okay, there we go. I I may have just like paused it a little bit there, so I didn't go insane. Um, so yeah, that's so uh eventually laid out quite nicely. So these are all game mechanics. We don't we're not just gonna have these in level one. We're gonna have them running all the time. So that's why we're putting in there. Okay. I just thought of something as well. We can actually just get rid of that. And have it on the same every tick. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is on collision with snail. Let's just drop that down. We've got the else. Which is good. Um that's all working. 
Good. Right. Okay, what are we going to do now? We're going to make him move. Now, making him move is pretty easy. And by that, I mean completely easy. So, what we're going to need to do is make a small sprite. So, make a new sprite and just make it 32 by 32. And stick the origin point up there. Make it whatever color you want and make sure that the alpha's down a bit so that we can see behind it. But we can also still see it. And I'm going to put this here and hold control and put it there. And I'm going to name it Enemy Call. Call is short for collision if you didn't know. Just cause I'm going to put a small E. Looks better. I'm going to have this. And in this, on the snail, sorry. I should probably name what I'm doing so that you don't have to look back. Um, on the snail, we're going to add a new variable, an instance variable, not a global, and we're just going to call it enemy facing. I don't know, it doesn't really matter about the name, just name it whatever you want. And I'm going to put right. Don't put it in quotation marks, because you don't put that there, you put it in quotation marks when you're in the event editor. So don't bother doing it just yet. So. What you should have on the snail, I don't know if we did it, we should have a platform with default controls set to no. I'm not sure if I did that last episode or if I did that off camera or whatever. So, that's what you need to do. Make sure that's set up. Make sure your max speed is set to 100 and um, that's pretty much all you need to change. Max speed and the default controls. So we can't control it, it controls itself. I thought I was recording my other screen then. I was, gonna, I was about to rage a little inside. Um, as you do. So, basically, this is going to go from there to there to there to there to there to there. To there, to there, to there and so on. And you can have as many as these as you want, just so long as you've got this and this and that. That's all you need. It's pretty simple. So what you could actually do is just copy, paste, put them there. But um, I'm not going to do that. Sorry, I just like had an inside burp, as you do. Um Okay. Levels, add event, snail, compare instance variable, enemy facing equal to put in your quotation marks, I'm just gonna change to English keyboard. Um right and copy and paste that and put left so when it's equal to right we're going to want this snail to simulate control right when it's equal to left we're going to want it to simulate control left like that so in here let me just drag this from my other screen it'll obviously go right off there I'll show you why in a minute. So basically what 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 it's doing is we've told it to go right when it's set to right and we've told it to go left when it's set to left. But there's nothing setting it to left and there's nothing setting it to right. The reason it's going right is because the default value is set to right. So um we need to activate these. So the way we're gonna do that is um snail on collision with another object enemy call. Press S whilst you've got this highlighted. Enemy call, pick from unique ID. And the unique ID is 311, which is up here. Right there, if you've not seen my unique ID, uh, UID video, go and watch that now. It'll help. And um, we're going to snail, set value, enemy facing to left. Make sure it's in your quotation marks, otherwise it'll not work. And then you can just make another sub event, enemy call, put by unique ID. I'm guessing it's 310. And we're going to set it to 
Right. Let me just check that. Is it 310? No, it's not. It's 270. The reason it's doing that is because I've obviously got unused unique IDs. So it goes back and uses them. So 270 would have been free. And then after 270, it's gone back up to the normal one. Which is 311, which would have been a gap because this is 373. So, you know. It just gives it a unique ID. It's pretty cool. So this should now work. Drag this onto here. And as you can see, it goes from one to the other. Now we need to make these invisible. So you just click on them and initial visibility set to invisible. For that you can just click on it and then press I. Once it goes highlighted. And now all we need to do is where it says simulate right snail set mirrored not mirrored snail set mirrored mirrored for the left so there you go it now moves left and right and when we run into it as you can see oh that's a bug kind of you are running off of it but it's it's one of them so as you can see it picks a random number and it kills you health a little bit now you can also see that there's lots of numbers after the decimal place we could fix that right now and all we have to do for that is where we're setting it uh, sorry hold on let me just with these three all we need to do is just drag them way up here where the rest of the collisions are. To do that, it's quite simple. Just like that. Not like that. Like, like that. There we go. Uh, where do we take the health? The health is taken at the top, I think, no? Where are we taking the health? That'll be in collision, won't it? There we go. Taking the health there. So drop random, and all we need to do is floor, and then we just need to floor the number um, player dot health. So we will basically floor that number. Why is that not working? Oh, he's put and. So that should floor the number so that it's just a decimal. There you go. So as you can see, it only took one away there. Hold on, it's only taken one away for all of them. Uh. Can we do and wait this? Huh. Okay, so what we'll have to do then is floor the number after it's done that. So uh system. I'll look into this right now. Uh, next episode, I will go through the fix, and then um, we'll be going on to something else as well. I'm not quite sure what yet, so look forward to that. I think... Oh, there's two bugs, actually. Maybe... Okay, so next episode, we'll be going through bug fixes. Uh, I'll be going through this level and just seeing what we need to fix, pretty much. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Oh, also, if you find any bugs, um, let me know in the comments because that will help as well. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.